I think what I meant to say is that we can calculate the steady state voltages and currents on this transmission line and compare it to the values you saw in the videos and uh, for adding up all the different reflections back and forth and see if it's trending towards the same value. So now, using a voltage divider for the 120 ohm resistor connected directly at Z equals zero, we get the steady state voltage is VGRL over RG plus RL. And once you plug in the numbers that you see here, we're going to get 75 ohms. We see that the transmission line's characteristic impedance, Z0, has no effect on the steady state current. Then the steady state current is exactly what we obtained from Ohm's law for the 120 ohm load resistor connected directly at Z equals zero. So I, steady state, is VG over RG plus RL, and that's 0.625 amps. We could have also found the steady state current from the steady state voltage by taking 75 uh, volts, I don't know why I put ohms there, that should be volts, 75 volts over 120 ohms, and we get the same number. You might imagine that there are improvements we can make to our idea of using TDR, the time domain reflectometry, to detect faults along a transmission line. That is, that we can come up with a more advanced solution than just hooking up a time domain reflectometer to one end and sending down a constant voltage wave. And indeed, there are improvements we can make. For example, to keep track of individual reflections, we might send a pulse down instead of a constant voltage wave. This way, faults or loads will cause individual isolated reflections that we can track. We can even use a bounce diagram with pulses. A solid line is generally used to represent the leading edge of the pulse. And a dotted line is generally used to represent the trailing edge of the pulse. You'll see a better example of that soon. Consider as an example a transmission line that is working well with no faults and with a load that is matched to the transmission line. Z R L 75 ohms is equal to Z naught 75 ohms. I have a movie for this case as well. The switch at the generator closes at time t equals zero and then opens again after 0.5 microseconds. Spend a minute creating a bounce diagram for this scenario. Here is the movie, and here it, the switch opens. So now we get a pulse. Now since the load is matched to the transmission line, we did not see any reflection. 